Are you tired of high ping and input delay ruining your Fortnite matches? In this video, I'm revealing the exact secrets that pro players use to get zero ping and near instant delay using powerful tweaks like DNS settings, TCP optimizer, filter keys, and more. Stay tuned, your lowest ping ever starts right now. Step 1. Make your internet connection more stable, using Device Manager. In this first step, we will make your internet connection more stable to help you get lower ping while playing Fortnite. To do this, we will use a built-in Windows tool called Device Manager. Start by clicking on the Windows search bar. This is the bar near the Start button, and it looks like a small magnifying glass. Now type exactly this. Device Manager and wait for it to show in the results. When you see it, click on it. Once Device Manager opens, you will see a list of different categories. Look carefully until you find the one called Network Adapters. Click the little arrow next to it so you can see all the network devices listed underneath. You need to find your main internet adapter here. If you use an Ethernet cable, look for names like Realtek PCIe GBE Family Controller. If you are using Wi-Fi, you might see something like Intel R Wireless AC. Now right-click on your network adapter and choose Update Driver from the menu that pops up. In the new window, select Search Automatically for Drivers and wait while your computer checks for updates. If it tells you the best driver is already installed, that's completely okay. Just close the window. Next, right-click your network adapter again and this time select Properties. In the new window, click on the tab that says Power Management. You will see some checkboxes. Make sure you uncheck all of them. This stops Windows from turning off your network adapter to save power, which can slow down your connection. Now go to the Advanced tab. On the left side, scroll down the list until you find something called Speed and Duplex. Click on it, then on the right side, set its value to the highest option, usually 1.0 GBPS Full Duplex. If your internet stops working after this change, simply go back and switch it to Auto Negotiation. Finally, click OK to save everything. This entire process helps to keep your connection more stable and can reduce ping spikes while playing Fortnite. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Optimize your DNS settings for faster internet. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, I will show you how to find and use the fastest DNS server to improve your internet connection. First, open the Fortnite Zero Ping Pack. Go to the DNS Benchmarks folder and open the program. Click on Name Servers and wait for them to load. Next, in the top right corner, click Run Benchmark to start the test. Once the test is finished, the results will show you the fastest DNS server. Make sure Sort Fastest First is selected so you can see the best DNS option. In this example, the fastest DNS is Cloudflare, and you can also view its DNS details. If you want more information, you can check the table data. Now let's set the fastest DNS on your computer. Open Search at the bottom of your screen and type Network Connections. Open it and find your connection, which will either be Ethernet, ETH, or Wi-Fi. Right-click on it and select Properties. In the list of options, find Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4. Select it and click Properties. Choose Use the following DNS server addresses, then enter the fastest DNS server. In this case, type 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1. Click OK, then close and restart your PC. This will help improve your internet speed and stability. Step 3. Improve internet performance for zero ping using TCP Optimizer. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we are going to make your internet connection even better by changing some advanced settings using a program called TCP Optimizer. This gives the program the access it needs to make changes. When TCP Optimizer opens, first check the network adapter shown at the top of the window. Make sure it matches the one you saw earlier in Task Manager. Now choose the option that says Custom so you can manually change the settings. Move the connection speed slider all the way to the right for the highest speed. Then, change these settings one by one. Set TCP window auto-tuning to normal. Set window scaling to disabled. Choose the recommended congestion control provider. Set the TTL value to 64. Enable ECN capability. Also, uncheck these three settings because they can cause problems during gaming. Check some offload, TCP chimney offload, large send offload. Make sure to check the box that says TCP timestamps. This can help with timing your connection better. Now click the Advanced Settings tab. In this tab, adjust the following settings. Set Internet Explorer optimization to 10 connections per server. For host resolution priority, enter these values in this order, 4, 5, 6, 7. In retransmission settings, set RTO max to 2000 and RTO min to 300. Type F, F in the network throttling index. 
Set system responsiveness to gaming, 0%. Now go to the gaming tweaks section in the same window. Leave display algorithm set to default. Enable network memory allocation and set memory size to optimize. 3. Set dynamic port allocation to 65534. Set TCP delayed ACK timeout to 30. Once you have checked all the settings and made sure they are correct, click the button that says apply changes. When it asks if you want to create a backup, click yes. This will save your old settings in case you want to undo the changes later. Finally, restart your computer so all the new settings can start working. This will help reduce lag and lower ping while you play Fortnite. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 4. Reduce keyboard input lag for zero ping using filter keys. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Setter, this step helps you fix any delay between pressing a key and seeing it respond in Fortnite. This is very helpful for editing and building faster. Start by opening the Filter Keys Setter program that you downloaded earlier. Inside the program, you will see three main settings that control how fast Windows reacts when you press keys. For the first setting called Ignore Under, click the box and type in 0Ms. This makes sure that every key press is registered instantly, even if you press it for a very short time. For the second setting called Repeat Delay, Set it to 130 and its minutes. This gives a good balance so that you can press keys quickly without them repeating by accident. For the third setting called repeat rate, set it to 10, 10 whiz. This allows your keyboard to repeat key presses very fast, which is useful when you hold down keys during building. Now look to the right side of the program window and check the box to turn these settings on. After that, click the OK button to save everything. These changes will make your keyboard respond much faster in Fortnite. You will notice better control when doing things like turbo building, fast editing, or switching weapons quickly. Step 5. Improve your power plan for zero ping for gaming performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. The last step makes sure your computer is always running at full speed during Fortnite matches by improving your power plan. First, click the Windows search bar and type in Choose a Power Plan. Click it when it shows up. In the Power Plan window, look at which plan is currently selected. If it says balanced, then your computer might not be using its full power for gaming. If you see high performance, click on it. This setting prevents your computer from slowing down to save energy. To get even better performance, we will unlock a hidden setting called ultimate performance. Copy the command that is provided in the video description. Now right click the start button and open command prompt, admin, from the menu. Paste the command into the window and press enter. You should see a message that the ultimate performance plan has been added. Go back to the power plan settings and now choose ultimate performance. This plan removes all the limits on your CPU and GPU, allowing them to run at full speed all the time. Click Apply and then close the window. For all changes to take full effect, restart your computer before you start Fortnite. You will feel a big difference. Less lag, smoother gameplay, and more stable FPS, especially during busy fights or late game situations. If this guide helped you, please click the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more.